Hey guys, sorry about the length of this video, I've had to cut it up into two. So I hope you enjoy. So the next draw is like single eyeshadows and two palettes. So I have a selection of different eyeshadows. I have an Avon eyeshadow which I bought for Prom. Two Topshop eyeshadows in Midnight and Backstage Whisper, Backstage Whisper, Whisper, I had to redo because it was all broken when I got it home, so I was really annoyed. I also have at the back Makeup Revolution, Bright Neon Eyeshadows which are good for festival looks. I have some more of those next to them and I have one like skin colour eyeshadows which can use be used as a transition so I have a green and a yellow they're a pound each so I'd highly recommend checking them out because they're so pigmented I could do a swatch if it's easier but then I've got to get a wet wipe I also have a Christian Dior lilac eyeshadow in colours rubbed off have a ID Iodora eyeshadow in moonshine which is just a nice green which is from cosmetics fair is really cheap have a YSL eyeshadow in another lilac which is in ombre essential or whatever have a bourgeois little sparkling blue eyeshadow which is stuck down with blue tack so it doesn't roll off now it won't stick I have a L'Oreal oh, colour appeal eyeshadow which is a purpley colour which is in metal plum I have another one of those but it's in chrome shine it's like I don't know how to describe that which is in beige shimmer and then I have a Bobbi Brown sparkle eyeshadow in pebble I believe which is a really nice sparkly shadow which I used to use every day I have a Maybelline New York eyeshadow in Exhaust Silver, which is really sparkly. Um, an Essence eyeshadow in Starlight, which is really sparkly again. The camera doesn't do it justice. I have a number seven little eyeshadow, which is in, which is a shade from Cappuccino Trio. I have two Body Shop eyeshadows, I forgot the names of these. I have two MAC eyeshadows, which is in Brown Frost, which is just a deep brown, but it blends out to quite a light brown. And one of the, I think it was a exotic, um, the themes or whatever they're called in Sea Worship. So I can't depart that so I'm thinking of doing that have three Maybelline colour tattoos one in is it on and on bronze which is quite nice to blend out have another one in metallic pomegranate which is a dark winter colour and another one in rose gold which everybody seems to have these two I have a MAC paint pot in Bear Study which is like a nudey gold champagne colour um, I'll move that out of the way I have my Naked Free palette this is the only one I have but I love this because it's summer and spring colours it's just amazing now I have last thing in this drawer is my MAC palette which I'm yet to get more eyeshadows and I just have 
um, what's it called again? Woodwinked, which I think is better for tan skin, so I'm going to wait to try that for the summer, but I'll stick with it. So that's it for this drawer, we'll move on to the next drawer now. So I accidentally missed out my favourite drawer, so I'm going to go back and show you. So this is my blush and my pigments drawer, so I'm going to go through what blushes I've got. So at the back, brushes, blushes and bronzers, I have the Bourjois Bronze Duo, which is the highlighter and the bronzer. I have a Avon blush, which is just a mixture of loads of pinks. I don't know what colour this is in. I then have a Christian Dior blush, vinyl which is more of a bronzy colour so you could use it for bronzer I have, this was from Aldi a long time ago La Cura Beauty which is just a dark pressed powder which I use for bronzer now because that's a bit dark I have my Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Highlighter which is just amazing for the price they're like £3 each and they're amazing. I have a New York City bronzer, which is a lot like the Hula bronzer. I have my beloved MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which I use pretty much every day, but it looks like you've hardly I've hardly used it because you need such a little bit. I then have <coughs> my Maybelline Dream Sun bronzer and blush duo which smells like sweets and then I have this Bare Minerals blush in the Fulks Pass which is a bright pink colour and then I have my MAC blush in Full of Joy which is pastel purple violet pink colour and at the front I have Avon pressed, well, the ball things, the bronzing balls. Um, at the back of this row I have two Makeup Academy MUA, you can get them blushes. I have a cream blush in Lush, that rhymes. <laughs> which is really bright and I have a normal brush in Marshmallow but Marshmallows are normally white which, but I don't think these blend very well they're alright but then I have a Makeup Revolution blusher in Hot which is another bright pink as you can tell I like pink a lot have a Rimmel London blush in Pink Rose, which is a neutral skin colour blush. I have three Benetints. I have, well, two Benetints and a high beam. So I have the, what's it called? I forgot what that one's called. Then I have the Bosey, Rosy Tint, Posy Tint. Um, and then I have high beam which has been used a lot again I've stuck them down with blue tack so they don't move I then have the benefit hula bronzer which I'm pretty much starting to use a lot now it's summer it's just a good bronzer and it blends quite easily now I then have my pigments so I have this model zone glitter pigment in silver which I don't think they do these anymore, but this is amazing. I have this Elamasca pigment in Big or whatever, which is amazing. Just, I'm hoping the camera, oh, the video cut out, I'm hoping it filmed the majority of this. But this is the Elamasca press pigment, and I'm just going to swatch this and hopefully it will show up. Just really glittery. I then have my MAC pressed pigment in this is Blonde Streak, which is 
doesn't give as much as the Alamasco one but it's amazing. I then have the Hard Candy Glitter in Black Jack and then I have my matte pigments so I have this old holiday set which is got like I'm sure the shades are on the back I'm not sure well it's got like a neutral colour a bronze colour a copper colour a gold glitter and a black glitter which I used for prom I used these two colours for prom and then at Christmas my auntie got me this one which is from the limited edition ones and I love the packaging so it just has a quite a light glittery colour then a briny glittery colour a bronzy glittery colour another gold and a matte brown pigment and I love this set you need so little to go a long way so that's that drawer and we'll get back onto the rest of the drawers now I've showed you that one so here we go I now have my palette drawer which is full and I don't even use all of these so at the back I have this Dior palette and it's just a lip gloss palette I don't know what the names are but if I do remember I'd tell you then I have another Dior palette which is just a it says pressed powder palette oh one of the eyeshadows is broke great so this has like um a mascara a little press pad a brush two lip products eyeshadow things a press pad a blush and eyeshadow but now one of the eyeshadows is broke so then i have this number seven whatever this is called it's got a black a blue a silver and a pink this is in mirrorball eye palette which is quite old i then have these i, I don't know where these were from my friend bought them for christmas a few years ago they're just little eyeshadows these were the strictly eyeshadows so there's a brown one there's a mixture of blues and then there's a mixture of dark colors for a smoky eye next to that I have a Revlon duo which is a blue and a black which I'll never use um, a L'Oreal for light eyes eyeshadow palette I don't know if they still do these I got it from Cosmetics Fairy as you'll see in my haul a few videos back in front of that I have this Dior palette which is in pastel summer colours I don't know the name again sorry and then I have another Dior palette which is a more orange -y palette which I did a video one of my first videos I used this I did like a summer or a date night tutorial just because I wanted to try that out then on this side I have at the back the Moolah 12 Night palette which is a winter eyeshadow palette which is full of loads of colours which I never got to use in the winter I have a eyeshadow pop task dip palette, palette which is good for festivals as well and I used in my festival video which was a long time ago in front of those I have the undressed eyeshadow palette which is a dupe for the naked one if I'm correct and then I have a Primark eyeshadow palette which is in the I think this is the night shade palette which has loads of dark colours I like the blues that I then have a Barium natural eyeshadow and blush blush glow palette which is just neutral than a uh, 
pale pink blush. I then have a Claire's Accessories eyeshadow palette, which is got um, four different eyeshadow colours, no, little palette things in it. I don't know the names of them because I got this for Christmas as well. I then have a number seven eyeshadow palette in, I don't even know, but it's got a mixture of colours, but I'd probably only ever use these ones. I have a Colour Cosmetics eyeshadow palette which I haven't opened. Then I have a Boutique eyeshadow palette which was in one of those cheap makeup sets that people buy you. But I can't actually open this palette. So it's a bit rubbish. I then have a number 7 eyeshadow palette in. It's the Smoky Eye eyeshadow palette. This is quite old so it's got a black like a grey colour, a brown and a white then this glam eyeshadow palette which has a white a, like kind of pinky white colour, a pink and a black blacky grey and lastly this collection eyes on coloured nude bronze palette which I quite like at the moment, I like this colour and that's it for my palette drawer, I'll show you the next drawer. So this is my lip drawer, at the back I keep lip glosses and things like that and lip liners. So the lip liners I have is a MUA Invisible Liner, a Dior Eyeliner in Avenue Hooch a natural collection not eyeliner lip liner i forgot the name um and essence eyeliner lip liner in wish me a rose and a top shot oh, I'm, i forgot the name it's just a dark berry color i then have a load of dior lip glosses so i have dior kiss Dior, I'm not sure, Addict, which is in 686, which is a dark colour. I have another one of those, which is in 557, which I wore for prom. I have loads of these little Dior ones, I don't know the names, they're just Dior Kisses. I have a number... I think this is number seven in, I don't know the colour, have a New York City, I'm going to, excuse me, I have a colour sensational by Maybelline, I don't know the colour of that either. Fern lip gloss in red. Um, a Barrier Moxie lip gloss in the pink one. A YSL lip gloss in like a dark colour, which is. I don't know. Um, some more Dior, some Mayu Fun, some L'Oreal, some Maybelline. Uh, one Tanya Burr in Heart Skip to Beat and a Coralista by Benefit and now I'll move on to the front where it has most of my lip products and the side. In the front I keep like lipsticks so I'll show you what I've got. I've got a Bourgeois Rude Edition Velvet in Hot Pepper, which I just bought today, so I haven't tried it out yet. I'm really excited. Oh, and I dropped it. I have um three MUA lipsticks in what the colour? Scarlet Sheen, which is red. You can't really see because it's quite dark over here. I have a one in wild berry which is really goes really well 
with the Topshop lip liner, they're like the same colour. So if you want the lip liner in a lipstick, I'd suggest getting this because they're only a pound, which is amazing. And weird fact, I didn't know this, but the little screw on part at the bottom is actually more lipstick. So you could use a makeup brush to put apply that. And the other one I have is in Tulip. Then I have a Makeup Revolution one in Dazzle, which is another pink, which is a bit, it's a bit of a darker pink than the Tulip one. I then have, oh, a bit noisy, have a YSL lipstick in 09. OFBB, whatever that is, and it's just a uh, darker than your lips lipstick. Um, and I then have oh, this annoys me. I then have a Topshop lipstick in Innocent, which is a really nice pinky nude. Have a Topshop lipstick in Brighton Rock, which is a uh, bright pink um have two maybelline baby lips i have one in the normal one which apparently you can use as a highlighter but i use this if i'm wearing a matte lipstick and i want a bit of like moisturizing in the lipstick because some of them are really drying and then i have pink punch which is just a pink tint and I'll tell you how it smells, but my nose is blocked. Uh, I then have these, the Maybelline. Because it doesn't have the name. Yeah, Maybelline. Colour Sensation Pop 6. And this is in Pink Lollipop, which just looks so bright. But as I said in my haul, it's like really light as it applicates to your lips. And they smell smell so nice I then have underneath that I have a chapstick just a strawberry lip balm have a own lipstick in Blossom which is nearly out this is when I first got into makeup I have a Another Dior lipstick which is in Rouge 296 which is quite an, a dark lipstick which is nearly out as well. You don't get much in these little mini ones really. And then have a, I think this is collect, one of the old collection ones which is in Perfect Pink too, which is again when I first started liking makeup. I used to wear this a lot so it's nearly out. And like the last lipstick in here I have is the L'Oreal lipstick in 01 which is all gone but I can use the brush I use this to death like every day when I got it. So that's what I have in there and at the side I have these Samples Dior Rouge, which has a selection of lipsticks, which that's quite a Kylie Jenner colour. Um, they come with little brushes. I have the Marvellous Moxie by Bare Mineral samples, but I have both of these anyway. I then have two ESO, I think this is Short Strawberry Sorbet. I'm not sure what this is because I got them in a set for Christmas a few years ago. These are from a set, I just thought they're cute, that's why I keep them, I'm not really keen on them, but they're quite cute. I then have another ESO lip balm, it hasn't been opened, I don't know what this is called, can't smell it either, I'd highly recommend these as well. And I then have a Vaseline in Rosy Lips. 
and I think we're nearly at the end of the drawers so I'll just quickly show you my skincare drawer so this has cotton pads, a dead skin face mask, a Jimmy Choo flash body lotion, a Estee Lauder perfect clean splash away cleansing foam, a Boots Essentials Cucumber for all skin types, 3 minute clay mask, 2 Batiste, dry shampoos, 1 in XXL volume and 1 in blonde, a Nivea Exfoliating Gentle Daily Scrub, a Soap and Glory Exfoliating Mist, Cleansing Mist, whatever you want to call it, Johnson's Baby Moisturising Cream which is good for before foundation. I then have a, if I can get these in, Nivea Soft Moisturiser, a towel, no, a flannel for if I ever need to take my makeup off, and a little makeup bag by Topshop, and that's it for the drawers. So that's it for my makeup collection. I do have quite a lot of makeup for my age because I'm only 16 well I'm nearly 17 at the moment but it's something I enjoy doing as a hobby and it's something I'd like to collect in the future so my collection will grow and I may do another video at some point but now I feel the pain of all the other youtubers that film these videos because they take so long um basically if you've got any questions don't be shy to ask below I will try and link things like the furniture and that below but I can't link all the makeup products because they would take forever. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see anything else like this. Um, suggest any videos below. I can do more in depth videos of what's in these drawers and yeah that's it so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next video bye